Hello, well, I'm finally back. I know it's been a long time uh, since my last video. You're probably wondering where the heck I've been. Well, I've just been so busy over the last few months. I've been interstate working. It's just been a bit of a hectic time for me, but I'm finally back here making videos, which is really great. And uh, I've had a request from a few people, actually, to do a horn speaker video. And I have an interesting horn here that I just acquired recently. It's a 4J horn. This came from an amusement park. This was actually part of a go-karts control system. Uh, I believe it was installed around 1997, so that's when this would have been from. But these were shipped over from the US to here in Australia uh, as part of this whole package just from this amusement company that had the, uh, the go-kart starting system with the traffic lights and the controls and the rest of it. And these speakers with the PA was part of that package. But they finally replaced them and I've got my hands on them here, as you can see, and they sound really good. They're not a traditional type horn with a compression driver. They're actually just a regular full range speaker like this. This came out of another one. So I've got a few of them, but this one, as you can see, is quite uh, shot. It's definitely seen better days. You can see that driver's very warped. But that's, this is what they use. But this one sounds really good, so I'll do a demo, and you can have a listen to this 4J horn. A little demo there of the 4J horn. Uh, the actual model number is 312. It's called the 312 series with a 70 volt transformer. And here's the information of all the available wattage taps. As you can see, the maximum tap is 12 watts, which is what I have it running on at the moment. And uh, it was made in Dayton, Ohio. 4J do seem like sort of a family owned business, but they do make some really, really good products. As in this horn, as you heard, uh, for what it is, I think it really does sound quite uh, phenomenal. We've got the, uh, there's the back of it. But yeah, they've held up really well considering they were installed in the late 90s. So the, you can still buy these. I'll put a link in the description to a seller you can get them from if you're interested. But yeah, there you have it guys. That was the 4J Industries 312 Series Horn Speaker.